I'm the uh, one Latino comic. <laughs> Four of us in this bitch? Alright, now. It's brand new. Pump out. We all gave him the same car, that's what's up. I'll see you. Back on the show. Somebody kind of clapped over here. <laughs> she's like, I'll see you in the Uber, bitch. Uh, super dope. And she's on the phone during the show. That sucks. Uh, right, uh, what are you doing? The show's going. Who are you texting? What's his name? Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. No, I'm just serious. Anyway, uh... No, my name is Vince Acevedo. Uh, it's very excited to be here. Uh, so far, so good. It seems like there's a lot of happy people, a lot of uh, fantastic comedians. Uh, for the four, uh, five Latinos that are here, thank you guys so much. Just in case... No, no, just... I just need to know where you are. If the fight breaks out, I'm fucking going to you. Because I know you have... Oh, nice. Uh, so it's perfect. For you, uh... I hate when I I hate when I call people out because it feels like I'm talking about ethnicities, but I fucking am. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for coming out here in the very front, very brave. For those of you sitting in the front, thank you guys. These are the party seats. <laughs> people in the back corners, fucking perverts. That's not the situation. I'm not saying you guys aren't perverts, but they're like real perverts. Uh, <laughs> sir, what is your name, my friend? Because nobody's asked what your name is. Jeff, how do you know these people right here? Are they your offspring? And that's the wife. Okay, very young. You're welcome, ma'am. Uh -huh. No, I was complimenting your wife. Not like in a disrespectful way, like, no, I was like, very young. It's Nathan, my son. Nathan, your son? Katrina, Nathan's girlfriend. Katrina, Nathan's girlfriend. And you don't matter, ma'am. All right, have a good night. You know who's not the favorite? You fucked up. Uh, Nathan's like, it's about fucking time! Uh, let's go. What's your name, love? Nicole. Nicole, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nathan, how young are you, sir? What, how old are you? 18. 18. You shouldn't even fucking be here. Uh, Alright, 18, how old are you? 19. Oh, <laughs> pervert. Uh, that's what I'm talking about! There's perverts everywhere. Some of the player are like, I want him. Uh, that's awesome. How long have you been dating? Three years? Well, why? Why are you guys, that's dumb. Uh, you guys are so used to be just doing things. Uh, look at the other perverts, like, yes, I just played it. Uh, no, no, you guys are adorable. Adorable. Congratulations. It's not easy. Where are the married people? Look, you hear how unhappy they are? There's only one couple right there, and there's been other Caucasians. Hello. Uh, what is your name, Brad? No. <laughs> Somebody caught I said Brad, and you said Chad. Uh, what is your name really, sir? Will. Will? William? We're just Will. Just Will. That's on your birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> That's on your birth certificate. Four letters. Will. You came out, your mom's like, fuck it, Will. It says Will. Will what? What's your last name? Nelson. Will Nelson. <laughs> really fucking Nelson. Get out. Get out. I don't want to deal with you and your fucking pot, bro. Nathan, go with your cousin Will. I'm sure dad's like, I'll take some pot. Uh, <laughs> Will, now what are the chance? What a fucking home run. That's retarded. Uh, that's great. And that's your wife. Jill Nelson? What is your name, man? What is it? Lauren. Lauren. Lauren Nelson. What is your culture, sir? What is your ethnicity? It's white. It's white. <laughs> your ethnicity. Your culture is white. <laughs> Caucasian. You're still fucking up. Uh, Polish, Serbian, Irish, 
Scottish? Like a Swedish. Swedish. So you know. <laughs> like, I'm not pulling you over. You're not like, oh, that's his white. Like, you're not. This is the first time I've seen a guy nervous getting pulled over in a comedy club. Like, you're just a Asian. <laughs> so, Swedish. That's all it is. What else do you got? I know there's more. <laughs> you don't know. You've never asked. <laughs> what, did, what did Yaya make for holidays? <laughs> What did you call your grandmother? Just grandma. Just grandma. Where are you originally from? You have a little twain. Indiana. Well, it's the same shit. Uh, it's hard to guard in Indiana. At Indiana Beach. Uh, sir? 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 Where are you going, grandma? Show's not over. She has, she has an appointment. She has an appointment? Now? <laughs> Back down before I let you go fuck up. Where <laughs> you guys going? Before Ricky comes out, that's the most racist shit ever. Uh, there's three blacks, two whites, three fucking Indian dudes. The last guy goes up, I stop him in Puerto Rican and parade. Show me some fucking love. I will follow you out, this bitch. <laughs> what is your name, bro? Muhammad. Muhammad? Yeah. Are you here with the, the other. <laughs> Stranger Danger Ranger. That's <laughs> did you ever ask your parents, like, how did you come up with this fucking crazy ass shit? You I did. Know. No, you know. You just don't want to say that shit out loud. <laughs> what is it? It's real quick. This is no big deal. We're family right here. For now, we go outside. We're gangbanging again. But for right now. <laughs> don't lean over to your girl. She's like, it's all good, boo. We'll fuck everybody. <laughs> You're just gonna keep moving? Like a figment of your fucking imagination? Like that's just not real? Let me ask you a question, love, because you guys are a very good looking couple. You guys have been together for, I think, 10 years, you said? What is your finishing move, Ranger? Because if you say it's orphan time, like all the fucking couple 90s babies are like, fucking, it's orphan time! You know? Scout and true, and I assume it's <laughs> some shit that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I haven't had this much fun in fucking five minutes. Uh, shit, I gotta go already. This is a lot of fun. Uh, for those of you that did come out, thank you guys so much for supporting Live Stand Up Comedy. Um, here's the situation before I go, I'm gonna leave I'm with, with an actual joke. Like I was just here up here fucking kind of rattling it off. It was a lot of fun. I've been doing stand up, I'm 36 years old. I started when I was 20, I'm 36 now. And no matter who you are or where you're from, every once in a while you run into somebody having a bad day. Run is bound to happen. Uh, young lady who was being hit on by the other gentleman, she looked around like Stevie Wonder. <laughs> right in the middle, right in the middle of the month. She had to, she's like, oh, fucking me. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, uh, what's your name, Kimberly? Sure, what do you do for a living? I work at a non-profit. A non-profit, so fucking, oh. yeah, no money. Uh, <laughs> what does a non-profit do? What does your non-profit do? Uh, environmental work. <laughs> Bitch, you sell weed, fuck you. <laughs>
you ain't shit, Ashley. Uh, so here's why I bring it up. If you've ever run into somebody having a bad day, right, and they're giving you their bad day attitude using one adult curse word, how would you describe them? They're giving you bad attitude, how would you describe their attitude towards you? Uh, bitch. Is that what you said? You thought about it, but you felt it. You're like, mm, bitch. Uh, I'm angry. I like it. All right. I was looking for shitty, but that's fine, right? I was in New York. I had a run of shows to do. I had six shows in three days. Knocked them out. Had a fantastic time. I am on my way to the airport. As I walk into the airport, there's an announcement over the speaker system. It goes, ladies and gentlemen, there is a thunderstorm coming to our direction. If, if we get onto the plane very orderly and quickly, we can take off on time. But as we all know, when you get onto a plane, there's always one goofball jamming something unnecessary into the overhead, right? Probably, Ranger, your enormous cock, right? <laughs> the plane the entire time of the delay. Two hours into the delay, I needed to use the restroom. The flight attendant on my flight was having a bad day and decided that I was the grand prize winner of her shitty attitude. Because the moment I stood up, she was very rude and a little racist. I don't know how she guessed. I was Puerto Rican. I'm not sure it was my tattoo or my well-done eyebrows. <laughs> She was like, oh my god, this guy, sir, sir, <laughs> sir, Juan, <laughs> Jose, yeah. Julio, anything that starts with a J? <laughs> it doesn't matter, sir. Can you see me, sir? Can you hear me? Can you see me? You see the little, the little seatbelt right up here, the little clicker ticket, the little boom? Can you hear boom? I know your people know that, son. You okay, Taco Bell? Boom, sit down. <laughs> now, I've never been talked to so ignorantly before. But she was so mean and rude to me, I felt it was only proper for me to be mean and rude to her in return. I wanted to ruin her day the exact same way she ruined mine. But the only thing I could think of to do, because I'm a psycho, was to stare at this woman in her face. <laughs> and with as much seriousness as possible, just go, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> Now, like, yeah, don't fuck me, you are. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Vince Aspen. Thank you guys so much.